A standard basketball is held fully underwater, and the mass and diameter are listed there. Calculate the buoyant force and its weight, and when released, does the ball sink to the bottom or does it float to the surface? If it floats, what percentage of it is sticking out of the water? And if it sinks, what is the normal force with which it sits on the bottom of the pool? Well, let's start off by calculating the weight. That's probably the easiest thing to start with. And our standard equation for weight is mass times little g. And the mass is given to us as 624 grams. Now we need to have that in kilograms. In other words, it's 0.643 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram. And that gives us 6.3 newtons. Next, let's calculate the buoyant force. And the buoyant force is the mass of the displaced fluid times little g. In other words, it's the weight of the displaced fluid, the water that would be in this spherical volume if only the basketball wasn't there instead. Now, the mass of the displaced fluid is the density of the fluid, the water in this case, the density of the water times the volume of the basketball. And then don't forget we're multiplying by little g. So rho vg, where that rho is the density of the fluid, that is uh, the equation for the buoyant force. Now, in order to do this, though, we need to calculate the volume first. And so for a sphere, the volume of a sphere is pi over 6 times the diameter of the sphere cubed. Or that's also 4 thirds pi r cubed. But since we're given the diameter here, let's use the form of the equation that has diameter in it. So we have pi over 6 times 0.243 meters cubed. So that volume is 0.243 cubed times pi divided by 6 equals 0 0.0075, 0 0.0075 cubic meters. Okay, so the buoyant force is density of the water times V times G. And so we have 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter times 0 0.0075 cubic meters times 9.8 newtons per kilogram. And that gives us 74 newtons. So the buoyant force pulling up on the ball, or pushing up on the ball, is 74 newtons. Its weight is only 6.3 newtons. So the buoyant force is more than enough for the ball to rise to the top of the water and float there. And in fact, it's going to float mostly sticking out of the water. And in fact, it turns out that how much of it is, is submerged in the water is equal to the ratio of its weight over the weight of water if it were fully submerged. So the ball, when it's floating on the surface of the water, will only be 8.5% submerged, which means that 91, 92% of it is going to be sticking out of the water.